Hey guys, we are at the Cass County Pioneer Log Cabin Museum. Getting a 0.1 milligauss reading off the dollhouse. Is that Sophie's dollhouse? Migration. Migration? Migration. This is actually very good. This book is about migration. <laughs> You're right. This book, on the other hand, is about two generations under freedom, and it's about migration of certain families. That is trippy. I kind of started getting a emotional something. I, I don't know the right words to explain it. I started getting a very emotional something and I had to step outside. You're Can like you a child? Mm-hmm. Very small. Yeah, we're talking about you. Hi. Hi. Are you Sophie? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. No. You can come back and look at the little lights. It's all right. There you go. Hey guys, we are at the Cass County Pioneer Log Cabin Museum, located at 400 South Broadway Street, right here in Cassopolis, Michigan. This place just celebrated its 100 years at this location. This is gonna be interesting. guys we're here in the main the front room basically the living room of the cabin now a little bit of history on this cabin it was actually built in 1923 using the logs from the original founding families of Cass County uh, they, they each one of the logs on the very end are numbered and back here by the uh, curator's desk is a book of all of the numbers coordinating with the family names of the farms that the logs were were farmed at to build this cabin now, this cabin was originally built as a a site for the uh the, the pioneer um basically the pioneer society picnic and um it became the museum shortly after being built which was the museum pieces were previously held at our historic courthouse right up in uh, downtown Cassopolis so like I said we're here in basically what is the living room um, we have got the, uh, the 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 field meter sitting up on the uh, on the table right now um, I have got the SP7 spirit box here 
and uh, we're going to see if anyone is uh, here or if we're just going to deal with residual energy. All right, we uh, we're starting off with a with a baseline of zero point zero on the tri field, um, actually standing right here. I'm getting a point five. Is anyone here with us tonight? I know there's a lot of old pieces spread throughout the museum, and I'm sure that. Somebody has got some, what was that? There's a tick right back there in that corner. Mm -hmm. 0.6. I'm sure somebody has got a connection to some of the things in here, or more than one person even. Uh, there's a little black box sitting here on the table. Uh, if you get real close, if you get real close to it, well, you're getting a raised fill too. I'm at 0.6 right now. Temperature's going up one degree back here in this corner. All right. It Is that what we were looking for? Yeah, it baselined back out again. If anybody's here and would like to say anything, the device that Mike is carrying in his hand right now will let us see your words. I just heard a tick back here in this corner. You all know me. I've been here a lot. And I love all you guys. Yeah, I wanted to come back here close to the fireplace too. Somebody's back here cooking. Oh yeah, look at that filled raise close to that old pot. I'm touching it. What's violet? Violet. See that? Never. Are you never? Violet never. Did Violet own that old cooking pot? You don't have to go away. We're friends. We've known you for a long time. This is Violet. Hold. Point six from zero point zero. Violet never. Hmm. Curious. Is is Violet's things in here? Do you know where Violet's things are at? Was Violet your daughter? It's a pretty name.
it starts to uh, starts to act like somebody wants to say something, mm -hmm. then uh, stops. I'm gonna go back over by the fireplace. Hello, my name is Drew. Um, we, I and Mike have both spent a lot of time here at this museum and I was wanting to come in and tell a little bit about your personal stories. Um, if somebody would like to speak up or something like that, they'd like to say something, you know, this little silver box I'm holding in my hand will actually record your voice so we can hear it. So would anybody like to say anything? Hmm. Yeah, a couple of weird pings and something. Hello, my name is Drew. Uh, would anybody like to say anything? Okay, guys, Mike branched off from me. He's actually back in the back end. He's actually back in the back end around the, the tree limb from the Chickamauga battlefield. Um, it says what? It says hurry. Hurry? Yep. What was the first thing it said? Hide. Hide. I'm by the Chickamauga branch. Let's get back here. Oh my God. We're here for you. We want to know your story. Good or bad, Sophie. Sophie. Who is Sophie? Is Sophie your girl? Do you miss Sophie? Is there any way we can help you find or get a message to Sophie? Don't go yet. We're here. We were both in the same army you were in, just a different time period. Here you go. Come on back. Come on back. We got you. What is it going up and down? It went way up there for a little while, dude. I mean, like. Let me show you guys this, this uh, limb he's working with. Uh, you know who I am. I've spent hours and hours and hours in here with you before. Now I just finally get a chance to meet you. What is your name? My name's Michael. Are you Sophie? No, it's hard. See if you can come up with one more word for us. I know it takes all you got. There we go. Come on back, buddy. We want to know your story. We want to know who you are. Mm. 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 Window. 
window. Which window? Window. Should we approach a window? Should we go to one of the windows? This place is full of windows. You want us to go to a window? No. Weekly. A weekly window. Weekly. Yeah, I, I was here weekly. I was here all the time. Yes, I was. And we did work on the windows. That's me. Could you tell us your name? Are you Sophie? Well, you did give us one more word. That's all I asked for. Temperature's gone up again by one degree. Are you going to be quiet for me now? Come on back one more time and I'll leave you alone. One more time and I'll leave you alone. But I will be back to visit you later. Is that all right? If you need energy, this little device right here with the lights on it sitting beside the branch you are more than welcome to use that energy to keep communicating it's right here there you go mm -hmm. right here by these pieces of shrapnel right here seems to be in this area pretty steady mm -hmm. can you give us one more word and I'll leave you alone I know I said that before don't say liar because that would really freak me out <laughs> one more word and I'll, I'll know you're here and I will come back and visit you every chance I get Do we have a deal my name's Mike this is Drew we can't get in here often when we can, we will. Okay? You got a deal? Is that a good deal? Look at that increase in the field. Dirt. 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 That's one more word. We're going to get another one, too. Holy shit, look at that. Dirt. Hospital. Hospital. Is this it? This carriage? Is this Sophie's carriage? Is this Sophie's carriage? Are you Sophie? Oh my God, look at that. I've never seen one read that high. Hi, Sophie. Suspect. Hmm. What do you suspect, Sophie? Come on. This is a beautiful carriage, Sophie. Thank you for your name earlier. I'm sorry I didn't understand earlier. Who was suspect? All right, we're going to go back over here. Is that all right? Soap. Come on, Sophie. Is this yours? You like the toys? Do you like the toys, Sophie? There's lots of really pretty toys here to play with. There are a lot of toys here. So what do we make of this, bro? No, you definitely had intelligent, intelligent conversation going on. It's not just residual, especially around this limb. Yeah, from that's, that's, the, that's the, uh, 
I wish I knew your name. If your name is Sophie, I apologize. If your name's not, I wish I did know your name. You sus is that suspect or suspect? Do you suspect us? Or, or was there a suspect? Well, that popped up when you asked if that was Sophie's baby stroller, baby carriage. Yeah. And it said suspect. suspect. Could be. Could be, yeah. Were you on the agent? Were you on the union side? Agent. Or the southern side? Do you know? Were you an agent? We're interested. We just want to know about you. spots and we'll be back with this group. Is that okay? Will you be here when we come back? Maybe? Associate. This is my associate and we do associate with you. If you're here, you has got to be good. This seems like a pretty good place to be. Is it? Marsha does a very, very good job. Row. Row. You, uh, the, the limb is in a row of Civil War era stuff. You might be tired. All right, we're going to leave you for now. We'll come back here in a little while. And uh, check on you, all right? Acceptance. Good. Acceptance. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll be back, okay? You rest. Get your yep. energy back yep. up. Yep, get your energy back. We'll be back shortly. All right, we've given, a, we've given a little bit of time to whoever we're communicating with uh, here at this tree limb from uh, Chickamauga Battlefield. Um, I'm going to try uh, a voice recording, see if maybe we can pick something up. It looks like the energy fields are going back up. Mike actually just picked up the word heat. Um probably because it's rather warm in here. He was also standing over by the, uh, the, 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 the quilts and stuff. So they could be saying that the, the quilts provide heat. Some pretty good readings from here. Yeah. Sophie, good. we're back. Did you get some of your strength back? A bit. Come on. Make it tick louder. Make it beep louder for us. Make the collars go up into the oranges. We know you got it, didn't you? There you go. Well, I'm starting to see oranges. Were you at Chickamauga? Hi. Hi. So, well, there you go. Hi. So you know us. We've both been in here so much. Were you at Chickamauga? You seem awful familiar with this. That must have been a terrible place to have been. You ever had anybody tell you hi? Uh, I've had highs and hellos before, but not straight up like that. Remark. Remark. Well, we think this is remarkable. Is that a remark? I just
do want to know if you were at Chickamauga. It's September, middle of the month, the heat, hot. 1863 was very hot. Respect. Of course we respect you. We're Absolutely. all soldiers here. We are for a fact. Just because my hat says Texas, things are different now. And we respect you very much for the sacrifices you made and your comrades. That's right. And we know that's hard for you to do that. And we appreciate it. And we respect you for doing that. Outside, I think. I hope. <laughs> I hope so too. You don't have to be quiet, my friend. Nope. You can talk freely amongst us. Here. Hey, it's Drew and Mike. We're we're here by the by the tree limb. From uh, Battlefield in Chickamauga, that you're communicating with us um, over Mike's device, you can actually talk into this little silver box that I'm holding right here, and it will let us hear your voice and hear what you have to say. You don't have to use as much energy with this device. Do you have anything you'd like to say to us? Don't be bashful. You know us. Surround. 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 I'm going to show you these weapons. Are you familiar with these weapons? Are you familiar with these? 
Did they ring a bell? A musket. And a saber. Powder horns. Drop three degrees since we were in here last time. Blasts. We did open two doors though. Yeah, it just went up a degree. 0, 0.0 baseline. I'm going to show you these. We're over here now. Are you familiar with these surgeon's tools? Were you wounded? Were you wounded? <laughs> Chickamauga? The housewife. Carry a housewife. All you guys had a housewife. I'm getting a 0 0.1 milligauss reading off the dollhouse. Is that Sophie's dollhouse? Migration. 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 This is actually very good. This book is about migration. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, this dollhouse was built in um, 1914, December. Uh, so I guess it was probably a Christmas present for, um, what's that say, Elizabeth Francis Churchill. Um, yep, 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 yep. Yes, yeah, built, made by J.R. Churchill, December 25th, 1914, yep. for Elizabeth Francis Churchill. This book, on the other hand, is about two generations under freedom. And it's about migration of certain families. That is trippy. And I appreciate you doing that, whoever you are. That very astute observation. Told you I wouldn't guys, have even caught that. This was going to be interesting. I would not have even caught that. Oh my God, it's, it's red. Grocery. Grocery. And just a second ago it said bottom. We're going to the bottom. That's as far as I can go. You want me to go back up? Tell me. Ask. Ask. He did ask you. Would you like to ask us something? You're welcome to ask us anything. Here for you, buddy. I'm here for you. There oh you are. God, look at those readings. There you are. Hi. Hi, right back at you. Garden. garden. There's a beautiful garden just outside the door over there. Digital. Digital. That's different. Very different. Digital. Interesting. How did you learn digital? From everybody coming in here? I'm going back to the bottom. I'm going to go grab the uh, meter. Off the table. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.
digital. How did you learn digital? All right, my friend. This right here, this, this box with the large silver stick sticking out the top of it, this will actually, if you get close to it, it'll start beeping and flashing different colored lights, and that'll show us that you're trying to make contact. So I'm going to set it down right here. Now, if you want to, if you can reach out and you can touch that silver stick, it'll make the lights and the sounds go off, and that'll let us know you're trying to make contact. Controversy. Controversy. There's a lot of controversy these days. There's a lot of controversy about the Civil War. That's part of it, yeah. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. People uh, don't understand. Deformed. Deformed. Okay, I'm starting to think that since our main PowerPoint is right here, whoa, don't do that, you freak me out. That he may have been perverse. Perverse. I'm thinking these pieces of shrapnel may have passed through somebody. May have passed through him. And that would be a deformed, perverse way to die. That would be a very deformed, perverse way to die. All right, did these pieces of shrapnel perhaps pass through your body? Causing you great deformity? Charles. Charles. Hi, Charles. Can you touch that silver stick for us, Charles? That would be really good. Were you a soldier? Probably get tired of me asking this question, don't you? Nationwide. Yes. Yes, it was. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie. Was, was that a... No, that was me. No, no. That was an alarm. Was that a... Uh, it was a lake loon. A loon, that's it. It was a lake loon alarm. A lake loon alarm. Yeah. As soon as it said nationwide, I wanted to go, on your side. Sorry, Charlie. Oh, that was bad too. Are you are, are you tired tired of our humor? I'm gonna move this again. I just got it sitting up there, but let me know what you think. That should not be detecting you, Claire, out there. It's only Is that you? Did you do that? See, it's not picking that thing up right there. That was not you that made that go off. You were twice as far away as you are right now. See, six inches. Defeat. Was your unit defeated at the Battle of Chickamauga? Did you defeat the enemy at Chickamauga? It's that shrapnel, dude. That thing goes off right there at those three pieces of shrapnel. One, there's a musket ball, a musket mini ball, yep. and a shrapnel. Yep. Lots and lots of it. That would mini ball right here. Yep. Piece of shrapnel, piece of shrapnel, piece of shrapnel. 
And it goes all the way down though. Yeah, yeah, there's shrapnel. All the way to the floor. This was a limb that hung in a tree. This was unnamed fire. This is all shrapnel from unnamed fire. Mm -hmm. This is just what was flying through the air. Those poor bastards had to try to get, live through. That's not me. That's not you. No, you're down below the level of the meter. That's not me, Charles. Is that you? Thank you, soldier. Yeah. We appreciate you. Can you do it again? If you have the energy? You defeated the enemy. I'm starting to put it together. You were not defeated. You defeated the enemy. If I'm right, touch that silver stick again. Yeah, see, that's not you. That's not you. You're too far away. Oh, I know. See, I'm right there. You see. Yeah. It's still six inches. You're right. Yep, see, six inches away. That is not us that was making it go off. Well, see, look. We're way away from it now. We were over a foot away from it. Well, I've never known you've been in here, and I've been in here a lot, and I've never known you were here. Was that you that's hanging out by the fireplace that I felt before when I was in here earlier at night a long time ago? Do you often go by the fireplace? If you do, touch that silver stick again. Let me know that was you in there. Do you know who's in by the fireplace? Are you tired now? Yeah, we're baselining on that. He's, he's You've given up. us all you got right now. And we appreciate it. We thank you very much. You rest, soldier. We're going to yep. move around and film something else. We'll probably come back and visit yep. before we leave. Rest easy. Okay, guys, we just stepped out. I, I, I started to move the camera when we were done talking to Charles. Um, I kind of started getting a emotional something. I, I don't know the right words to explain it. I started getting a very emotional something, and I had to step outside. As we were walking towards the side door to come out here and get some fresh air, Mike's uh, meter, um, what did it say first? Below? Below, over there, that we had Jacob. Uh, can't remember. Can't remember. Plains, Plains. Plains. Below Plains, as in the Great Plains, P-L-A-I-N-S. Then it said, can't remember, remember. Remember, it said uh, Jacob, and then it said Jacob, and so, discipline. Discipline. So I mean, even right out here, to the to the north end of the museum on the property, we are picking up communication. Constant. Constant. Constant communication. Pretty trippy, actually. Very trippy. Very trippy. I ain't gonna turn this thing on at home. I don't want to know. You live in a Van Ripper house. I dude. live in a I house mean... that's 200 years old. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I ain't going to play this at home. We're getting as much activity out here within 10 feet of the cabin as we're getting inside. Mike just uh, was walking around front. He picked up weekly illustrate and then picked up illustrate now when they built this cabin they were sketching out pictures of the finished product this whole back area right here used to be a back porch on the cabin overlooking Stone Lake and within about uh, the 19 40s, late 1940s, the back porch gave way, the supports gave way, and the back porch fell off the cabin. 
So they built basement. a brand new basement on here. Spread. And spread. They built a brand new spread <laughs> and then built the back room on. Yes, so. Originally, this cabin was only four rooms. And they built this large back room on uh, on a secured foundation so it didn't fall into the lake again. But we're getting just as much communication outside the four, the four walls of the cabin it's as we're doing inside. I said it once, I'll say it again. Told you guys this place was going to be interesting. Okay, you guys aren't going to believe this. We started walking back in the cabin and right go, off the bat, the right off Jacob. the bat. We got Jacob again. We got Jacob again. Jacob, is that you? Right off the bat, Mike's Charles? detector Jacob? said, getting close, just as Mike was rounding the corner to go back to the Chickamauga tree. You've had a big night. You haven't had this much excitement in a long time, have you? Jacob, does that shrapnel upset you? It should. It upsets me. See, that still really freaks me out that he's communicating like he is. I mean, even when I was moving the camera outside, I was eight feet away from that... Um, EM detector and it went off. So minimal. Minimal. What is minimal? Does it upset you? Minimal? Was there minimal? Are you doing the minimal right now? Yeah, we were just complimenting you on your activity. Is that just the minimal of what you can do, or can you only do the minimal? Say. Say. Say what, Jacob? What do we need to say? Please. Please. And thank you. And thank you. If it comes back, say you're welcome. I'm out of here. <laughs> Weaning. <laughs> we are indeed on a quest. Are you also on a quest? Were you on a quest? I would have swore I just saw somebody right here. No, I didn't see nobody. I didn't see no motion. Charles Jacob, I'm going to the tool room. What's that with me? Weird. That 
that's weird. That was weird. <laughs> All right, Charles Jacob. Charles Jacob Soki. Could be. Mir. Mir Inches, Mir Feet, Mir Miles. Whoa! It's at you again. Charles Jacob, no, no, I'm four feet away from you. Do you know anything about this desk? completely red. Well done, Charles Jacob. Completely red. Can you do that again? Jeez, oh Pete. <sighs> Tissue. Tissue. God dang, Drew, this thing's gonna catch fire, bro. Holy crap. Cells. Pull. Is your cells pull? Own. Mm. Politicians' polls? Political polls? Red again. Pretty trippy. Pretty trippy. Are you, are you recording? No. What are we doing? Well, I'm recording right now. Okay. Get ready to move it over here where I can get you by that desk. We're getting a lot of stuff over here by this officer's desk. Where are you going off? This is the Adjutant General's desk of the Army of Tennessee. Ulysses S. Grant was, in fact, one of the Adjutant Generals of the Army of Tennessee. Own. Mind. Do you know of this desk? <coughs> Where'd volume go? Alright, shut it down a little bit. It's going nuts. You had it all the way red the other day, just a moment ago, and you said completely, and it was completely red. Can you do that again? Almost. Come on, I know you got it in you. A little bit more. A little bit more. You're doing very good. You're doing pretty good. There it goes. There you go. Bulk. I know. Come on. Look at you. Look at you. Whose desk was this? Do you know? Do you know which officer owns this desk? One more time. One more time. 
We'll leave you alone. That probably took a lot. You had it red all the way. We're going to leave you for the moment. I'm going, All right. to, I'm going to try something. Whoa, hello. I'm like six feet away. Acceptance. Acceptance. I'm coming back over this way, George. All right, Charles, or Jacob, whatever your name is, if you can let us see you, if you can get up the strength to stand right by that tree limb, we'll be able to see you. I'm going to back up a little bit. If you can stand anywhere close to that, we'll be able to see you on this. Now back up a little bit. Right now, it's picking. Okay, it's mapping me, it's mapping you. Population. Population. Manual. Did you follow the army manual? Did you do everything by the manual? Plain. Is this Plainly, by the manual. Okay, it's mapping you, but that's it. Did you say unit? Unit. Unit. Oh, hello. That's me. That's long after you walked away, though. You were clear back over here when that thing popped up. Okay. Person. Yes, we're picking you up as people. That machine that I'm using picks up a figure of you. Pile. Pile? Mm -hmm. At first we thought the SLS was mapping me. Then we realized that after he inquired whether the device made him look like people, he appeared right in front of the camera basically to show himself off. Right there, look at that. Right down there by the uniform. Mm -hmm. It's okay. You can come back and let us see you. Well, hello. Thank you. Charles, is that you? If that's you, Charles, can you wave or hold up a... Okay. Turning, I guess. You're turning, you've yeah, turned works. towards the officer's desk.
Can you look at us? Okay, come on back. Come back, my friend. You don't have to be afraid of us. We can actually see you. Thank there you. There you go. Thank you. Scared the Billy the Jesus out of me, man. I didn't even know you was back there. Last time I knew you, you was over there getting a drink. Commando style. Roll. Roll? Well, R-O-L-L? -L? Yeah, my middle name, Andrew Roll. Oh. My mom and dad didn't know how to spell Raleigh. Oh. My great-grandfather's name was Raleigh. R-A-L-I-E-G-H? Yep, but my mom, being the hill jack she is, named me Roll, R-O-L-L. Now you all know something about me no one's ever known before. Except my wife, which, when she gets mad at me, calls me Andrew Roll. Have an Andrew Roll. Probably because of the former location of my jelly roll. Right. Come on, my friend. Act oh, this is all in capital letters, too. Activist. Damn it, there's that shadow again. Hey, I'm way back away from you. something dark right beside that pole and the second I saw it everything it was like creepy crawlies all over my back and everything I don't know if it's the shadows playing tricks or what it is but that literally just well here's a suggestion fricked up my fricker frick it's getting late. I know this is kind of your all-night thing. I don't know how you plan on doing this, but I want to make this a two-parter. You know Marsh is up for it. We ain't done anything but this one room. I know. What time is it getting to be? 2220. 20. 10 one. You go to work tomorrow? Yeah. Day? Yeah. Charles, Jacob, thank you so very much. It was good to actually see you guys. We're going to go into the tool room for a little bit, but we'll be back on another day to talk to you some more. We're you confident rest. that you'll be here. Rest to save your energy. Yep. Rest up. Guys, remember here just a month or so ago, uh, Danny and Crystal from Southern Michigan Paranormals and I went out here uh, north of town to the Van Ripper Cemetery. And uh, if you'll remember in that video, uh, it was a very, very peaceful, very calm. Um, if you guys remember, one of the spirits actually shoved Danny 
he was sitting there doing a spirit box uh, communication with him and all of a sudden so very very playful very very fun very very relaxed place um, Dr. Van Ripper's uh, kit. And I, li I live in the Van Ripper house, by the way. Yes, he actually lives uh, down in his basement is a large oak door. And it's got the Van Ripper name written. It's, it's Yeah, it's, yeah. Old charcoal pencil, it looked like. No, it was paint. It was definitely. Oh, was it paint? Yeah, it was oh. like a shipping crate or something. And, uh, yeah, they turned it into a door. All the uh, hardware is blacksmith made. I live in a pre-Civil War house. Just a couple blocks from here, and uh, although it's always been really, really peaceful, I don't think I'm going to turn on any of these clockwise. Clockwise. Don't think I'm going to turn any of these on in my house, though. All right, clockwise. All right. All right. Um, let's let's uh, let everything run for a minute and film with Alice in here. Cold. Um, okay, that's on. We're already getting a K2 reading on the K2 meter. Cold and small. 76 degrees. 0, 0.0 baseline on the tri-filled meter. Let's uh, let's step out, kill the lights, and just let's uh, see what kind of communication happens. If you look at the K2 meter located on that display case uh, flashing, it, it's picking up a constant increased electromagnetic field in this tool room. I'm really not surprised of the communication that we're getting uh, while we're out of the room.
Dr. Van Ripper, are you in here? Abram Van Ripper. Farmers, trappers, pioneers. You who made this sound. Are you with me? This is me, it's Michael. I've been here a hundred times. Probably not as much as you've been here, but. Certainly interested in hearing the story if you've got one. Very quiet. There you go. Are you in here with me now? Mm -hmm. Very quiet. Can't remember. Can't remember. What can't you remember? We're still getting a field reading here on the tri field meter. Yeah. Quest. We are on a quest. Quest again? Yep, in capitals. We are on a quest. Good Sir Knight, what is the purpose of your quest? To speak with those who have passed before us, to gain their knowledge and their wisdom. To find out about them. That is our quest. Stick. Stick. Did you touch the silver stick? I just. Oh, you did? Uh, well, I just actually scanned this by it. 0.5 milligauss. Temperature has dropped two degrees since I came back to this corner. 0.6, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.21, 0.22, 0.23, 0.24, 0.25, 0
You might have an ash can in here to tell you the truth. Amendment. Amendment. Second Amendment. Thank you very much, sir. No, that was my addition. Oh, okay. Just get my nipple work in there. Okay. Boot jacks. Spanners. Supposed to be a saw in here that was used by George Washington. Really? I believe so. I have trouble buying that to tell you the truth. It looks too modern to me, but what do I know? Right here, the saw was said to have been used by George Washington at Valley Forge. Hmm. The date's right. George, are you in here with us? Place sure is cleaner than it used to be. Nicely organized now, huh, guys? It's a nice, peaceful room, yeah. just says no musical talent. It did not. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right, it did not. I was actually hoping to pick something up off of Dr. Van Ripper's stuff. Considering I do live in a Van Ripper home, but it's nice and peaceful in here. Very peaceful in here. It's peaceful throughout the whole place, actually. It's just... Yeah. What's this? Thank you, Gary. It's we're still picking up a some kind of a uh, rise in the electromagnetic field. <coughs> and there's no uh, still maintaining one point zero milligrams. Oh no, it's been sitting here going off the whole time. I'm yeah. going to move around with it, and uh, it's not even flashing now. Pretty quiet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something. Alright, I'm picking up way too much back here in that corner. Uh, we're going to go back to the uh, SLS and we're going to see what uh, we're going to see what's going on back here. Somebody's looking at it. Like a child. Mm-hmm. Very small. Yeah, we're talking about you. Hi. Hi. Are you Sophie? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. No. You can come back and look at the little lights. It's all right. There you go. Yeah. Look at the little lights. Aren't they pretty? Are those pretty lights? Can you look at us? Aww. Don't go away. It's all right.
Are you getting tired? And I've just been told they're done. I figured they would be. They communicated a lot tonight. Yeah, they, they did. Are you tired, sweetie? You just want to rest? If you touch the yellow, if you touch the silver stick one time, we'll leave you alone and you can rest. At least just come back so we can see you. Yep, and then we'll leave you be last time out. You can be comfortable here for a long, long, long time. All right, guys and gals. We're going to keep our promise to Sophie, whoever's Charles residing here. Uh, we wore them out tonight. We're, we're the first ones to ever investigate this place. And though Mike, when he volunteered here, Marsha, the curator, they've all heard things, felt things here. This is the first actual, tangible evidence that not only is there residual energy here, but there's intelligent energy as well. And they're loud. And they're loud. <laughs> so. I think they're saying we're loud. I think they want some peace and quiet. That's what they're used to around here. We've kind of disrupted them. So, so they've been very generous with their yep, time. There's a gist of it. <laughs> Lights? Can't beat that. Can't beat Lights. Those. Lights. Y'all take care. Go so wrong.